So kudos to this commenter and everyone else who talked about metric modulation. That's the technical term for what's happening here. So it's giving the illusion that the feel and the speed are changing, all right? In this case, I'm doing more of a partial or an implied metric modulation because I'm not fully committing to the new feel and tempo. If you fully commit, then that's a full or a complete metric modulation. But in this example, I'm keeping the hi-hat in the original time. And it just gives you the sense that you're going someplace else. Now, how do we do this? How do we break it down? So basically, you could do a metric modulation based off any rhythm. And the concept of metric modulation is to take one rhythm at a certain speed in a certain meter and in your brain turn it into another rhythm without changing what you're physically playing. Now I know that's confusing so let's talk about it in terms of playing. So in this situation I'm playing a jazz beat and here's your time. Now the rhythm I used was quarter triplets. So if I play quarter triplet on the ride you get that vibe. Three over two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And what I'm doing there is I'm orchestrating one ride cymbal with a kick, one ride cymbal with a snare. That's gonna be give me this feeling of two instead of three. And that in your ear is gonna make it sound like I'm playing quarter notes or eighth notes against the original time. And that immediately makes your brain feel like the time is faster. So if I have my one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, if I do this, Kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. That boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop gives you that, that polka vibe, that rock boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop. And that's going to trick the listener into hearing those triplets as straight eighth notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you're able to keep track of where you are and come out of it and resolve it, it's a really nice effect. Let's go ahead and count that out. One, two, three, four, two, two, ready, go. One, a two, and a three, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a two, and a one, and a two, and three, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a two, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now I know that this could be a confusing topic, so if you want to delve into it a little bit deeper or you have any questions, let's go ahead and tackle that in the comments.